Another episode of Bad Beast Barbecue. Hey, today I got my brother with me, Big G from Baton Rouge, Louisiana. What up? <laughs> so, hey, uh, they came up here to check out the Anita Becker concert in St. Louis. That's happening tonight. But while he's here, you know, we got to do a cooking video, drinking video, you know, those type of things. So, hey, so I'm gonna have him uh, check out this uh, sous vide machine. I don't know if he's ever. Checked out a sous vide machine. Nah, just not heard of it. So. Yeah, so what a sous vide machine is, is basically giving your food a water bath. You, uh, supposedly you can control the precise temperature of water uh, mm -hmm. with this machine here. So I have it set right now to uh, come up to a temperature of 155 degrees and it'll maintain 155 degrees throughout the entire time. Okay. And so uh, you just got to leave your meat in there for a certain period of time until its internal temperature can get up to match the water. So that's how people are doing them sous vide steaks and stuff like that. You know, they can get to the perfect uh, medium rare. Okay. And then they get it off the, the this and then they sear it on both sides and you get that perfect medium rare. So, which is probably what we're going to do for, for y'all this afternoon when the wives bring back the ribeye steaks. And stuff okay, right cool. Here. But what we're going to do right here now is like, uh, like I told you guys before, check out the iCard in the corner. Uh, the Cisno guy sent us this sous vide machine, and this is like the third, fourth time we've used it. But this time, we want to use it to thaw out some ribs that have already been cooked. Mm -hmm. Okay, there's, there's a lot of talk about thawing out ribs, whether you're in the room temperature, refrigerator, put them in the oven, put them back on the smoker, what have you. So I'm, we're going to use the sous vide machine to thaw them out. Okay, now these ribs are also like nine months old. Okay. So we cooked these back in September last year when we was going to do a collaboration with Daddy Cooks, but logistics didn't uh, let that happen. So uh, I'll have to get with Daddy Cooks, Phil, and we have to do another collaboration. But uh, these ribs have been in the freezer ever since then. I cooked them. Uh, we didn't use them, so I put them in the freezer, and they've been there ever since. So, okay. so uh, what we're going to do is I'm going to thaw these out using the sous vide machine and see if we get the same flavor and uh, the same tenderness and moisture and whatever. Uh, you probably won't have much bark on it because it's going to be uh, really cooking in its own juices and you're reheating in its own juices, okay? So we're going we're to check that out. Then we'll taste them up and we'll see what we think, okay? So okay. Uh, I'm not sure how long you're supposed to keep ribs frozen in the freezer. I know um, when, like I said, when Phil went uh, to Parts Unknown, he cooked some ribs for his family and he froze them and so they were thawing them out and e eating them over the time while he was gone. So uh, that's, you know, kind of what made me want to try this. It's here. Uh, in the first place, so so we're gonna. I'm gonna wait till this comes up to temp, and then once the uh, the sous vide machine beeps, tell us that the water is up to 155 degrees, then we're gonna put these in there and let them go for two hours. Okay. So from what I read online for ribs, uh, you normally know ribs cook to like 160 degrees internal temperature. Uh, I can't confirm that because I've never really measured them, but uh, then it, so with the sous vide, they say you need to reduce the temperature five degrees, so 155 degrees for two hours and then we'll see how they come out okay okay all right guys so hey uh don't go nowhere hang around come back we'll throw these in in the, in the water bath and then uh we'll see how they turn out so hey don't go nowhere thanks <laughs> all right guys so our cisno sous vide machine is up to 155 degrees and uh so we're gonna go ahead and stick our ribs down in the water I guess I'll do it like this. And stick out ribs down the water. I'm gonna make sure I'm not blocking my sous vide machine. Damn, this water hot as hell. And then I'm gonna weigh it down with my, if I can. It might not be heavy enough. Okay, that's not heavy enough to weigh it down, huh? No. We gotta find something else a little bit heavier to weigh it down, so be right back. All right, so since this wasn't heavy enough, I got a towel and I went outside and got one of my bricks. So I'm just going to wrap the brick in the towel so that it won't accidentally tear the bag. Because you don't want the water in your bag. And I'm going to put it in like so. 
All right, so it's weighted down. So, all right, so we'll come back in two hours and we'll cut it and we'll see exactly how it tastes. So, sounds good to me. All right, then. So, hey, come back in two hours. <laughs> all right, guys, we're back. Uh, the ribs have just finished. They've been in the water for two hours at 155 degrees. We had a brick wrapped in a towel to keep them submerged because the weight that I had wasn't sufficient enough. So I'm going to remove this brick from on top of the ribs and get this out of the way. All right. So pull our ribs out of the water. And we're going to go ahead and cut these bad boys open and see how they turned out. All right, guys, so we'll cut these bad boys open. I'm interested in seeing how these came out. They're juicy. A lot of juice. You can smell them. Hmm? Yeah, smells good. Let's see what we got here. Toss this away. All right. So, like I said, you know, you don't have that bark right. like we had on them before. But. Now, I guess you could take these, once they're warm, you could probably stick them in the oven mm -hmm. and get a little, get them, little, little firm on them and stuff. Yeah. yeah, yeah, so, but. Let's see what these bad boys look like. We look a little tender. Hmm? Yeah, look good. You can see the smoke ring from where it was originally uh, cooked, so. Your hand is kind of hot. You're going to need some. Hold on, let me use paper towel. So they're nice and juicy. They got a lot of liquid in them. Let's see what they taste like, though. They smell all right. Nothing wrong with them to me? Mmm. One thing I am missing is that little bark. bark. Yeah. yeah right. But they eat good. So, and you got to remember, guys, we cooked these ribs last September. So, what is that? Uh, October, November, December, January, February, March, April, May, June, July. Almost 10 months. Yeah. Yeah, almost 10 months ago. And we uh, vacuum sealed them. And then we froze them. And it's the first time I'm cooking them or tasting them since, since then. So, mmm. Oh, yeah. That'll work. They're warm. I think I would have liked them to have been a little bit warmer. Mm -hmm. So, and I guess I could take these now that they're thawed out and going on, probably toss them out on the smoker we got out there right now just to get them dry them out a little bit and to, uh, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Yeah. So, but oh no, that worked out pretty well. Right? Boom. I'm sitting here, keep eating. <laughs> so, well, mm, that wasn't too bad. I guess we'll take these upstairs, throw them in the oven or on the, on the smoker, and get them you know a little bit more tack uh, firmed up. But as far as tenderness goes, is there juiciness goes is there, and uh, they're not dried out at all. So, so hey, if you wanna. Get yourself one of those vacuum sealers, man, and cook you some pre cook you some stuff, throw it in the freezer, and then, you know, sous vide it out later. Then, um, hell, I think that's the way to go. So, but also the guys uh, at Cisno gave me a 20% uh, off coupon for you guys to use if you're interested in buying a sous vide machine. This is normally about $78 on Amazon, 20% off. I guess you take off about 16 bucks or so. I guess that's what we calculated. So, uh, that coupon is going to be good until the end of December of this year. Okay, so I'll put the uh, code at the bottom of the screen here and I'll put it in the description block with the link to this sous vide machine on Amazon. So, hey, if, uh, you know, 60 some bucks, I guess you can't go wrong if you wanted to, if you wanted to try out a sous vide. No? Yeah. yeah, so, but anyway, uh, that's all we got time for today. So, anything else? Mm -mm. I ain't got nothing else to say. <laughs>
I guess that bone getting good to him. So, <laughs> all right, guys. Hey, like we always say, where there's smoke, there's fire. If it's fire, then damn it, there just might be a barbecue there. And a sous vide. And, and a sous vide. <laughs> <laughs> hey, we see you guys around the smoker. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. <that's> it. <laughs> Don't taste too bad, huh? Mm -mm, no, no, no.